How you doing? I'm well. How are you? I'm good. Oops. That's very nice. Need help with that? Or are you okay? I'm good. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm here to help. <laughs> I just didn't have a spot to hold the mic back. So yeah, so they've got to come up with a better system for the lovely ladies that wear their... Like us you guys, know? we can have the big battery thing hanging off our asses, but well, you ladies... I've actually invented... Or I haven't invented, but I have an idea. A mic pack that's a suppository. <laughs> she just... Not gonna catch on. No? <laughs> no. Well, I thought you could try it first. Uh, no? Did it once. <laughs> That's enough. Um, everything good with you? Yes. Um, I, I have to give him a little hell, though, when I, before I start. Okay. Um, we were staying at the, hotel, uh, the same hotel, mm -hmm. and uh, I got into the elevator, and he had his head down. He was reading, and I was like, oh, I'm going to the exact same place you're going. He's like, I seriously doubt it. <laughs> What I said was, I don't think so, because oh, well. when you said you're going where I'm going, I thought you meant hell, and I thought, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. But here we are. Then he looked up and he was very sweet. You're right. In a way, you were right. We're, we're all in hell now. That's what I'm saying. Awkward celebrity moment hell. <laughs> I have to... But in fairness... In fairness, he didn't know it was you. He was no, looking no, down. Of course. Yeah. And in he was fairness. very sweet afterwards. And well, the thing is, I'm usually like, if I'm not, if I'm like looking down at my paper and people come up to me and say stuff, I'm always like, buzz off, fathead. <laughs> yeah, I and then I look up and it's Tom Hanks. I'm like, Ooh, Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> that's happened many times. I've said buzz off, fathead to Tom Hanks like 15 times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. embarrassing. It's my own fault. Sorry. Now I understand you have a new resolution. I don't know if this is true, but to try and. Stop saying oh. a certain word. Yes, um, you know, every once in a while some horrible word will just come into my vocabulary and never leave. Mm -hmm. and, and now I'm sort of addicted to saying dude. And, uh, you know, it started because of Emma Caulfield, who was actually on your show, too. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> and she says it incessantly. It's like a bad date over <laughs> here. Come on. Come on, buddies. <laughs> You know, actually, that's how we're going to start shooting the show now, is me in between the two celebrities. <laughs> no, it's good. Oh, well, no. Um, um, yeah, so I said dude. Come that. I See, I'm trying to say dude more. Oh. Yeah, well, just to connect with the kids. Come hang out with us. But I force it in and, like, where it doesn't belong. I'm like, that's that sounds really interesting, you dude. <laughs> And then they, it's, this, it's not right. Yeah, when I first started, my boyfriend sort of said, um, honey, so is this dude thing gonna stick? I'm like, I'm sorry, baby, I can't help it. He's like, you weren't sorry, dude. <laughs> sorry, dude. Yeah, I can't help you out. Yeah, it's just, it's very <laughs> contagious. I've also been addicted to, like, rad and... Ooh, that's a bad one. And like. But, yeah, it's awful. You know, uh, there's a lot of people, I watch The Real World a lot, and, uh, Have you seen the new one? The Vegas one? Oh, with where the they're just pouring it up all the yes. time? Yeah. And so, so exciting. Um, I'm sorry, but yeah. my TV spectrum is very wide. I know about Joey Tata, and I know about the real world. And, um, but anyway, they say like is, so, with some young people today, every word is like, and there's no word in between. There's nothing else. It's just like, 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 like and like. there's no information yes. coming out. And right. that's what makes me feel like an angry old man. Because oh. I'm watching going, why are I to speak the Queen's English? <laughs> oh. See, now that should have been, you should just say, learn to speak the Queen's English, dude. Dude, you're right. And then yeah. I'd be cool and exactly. angry, which is much cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, on this show, Buffy, mm -hmm. you guys have fanatical fans. I yes. mean, fans that are pretty intense. Definitely. How weird does it get? It gets, um, it gets a little odd. Uh, I've, I've seen people with the logo tattooed on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I read about a guy who has um, the cast member's face faces like tattooed all over his body and he wants to meet everybody and have them sign a body part so he can get that tattooed on. It's like, well, hmm. Interesting. Like, what body parts are we talking about? <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. I haven't seen the guy. The the logo was on someone's shoulder. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of scary. How old is this guy? I hope he's at least. 
I hope he's not a kid. Right. And it's just some, like, because, yeah. you know, those are decisions that... if it's a phase, that, that's kind of scary. Right. You know? And, and I was also hoping that if it were a woman that wanted to, like, get faces tattooed, that she wouldn't do it in this area just in case she got pregnant, because then our faces would be like... <laughs> <laughs> I just, <laughs> I that's thinking way ahead. Yeah, well, you know... <laughs> Stretch marks. I don't now you know you have fanatical fans, or you know that there's a that your 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 show has achieved a sort of cult status when they start making porno movies that are based on your show, and that's happened now, hasn't it? I've heard. I haven't seen, of course. I mean, maybe you could tell me, but um, they're quite. <laughs> they're I've quite heard, good. They're I've not. <laughs> they have a certain quality. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that there's one called Muffy the Vampire Lair. <laughs> What was that all about? Was that meaning you've seen it or? Starch in my collar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Working that out. Um, I always like to end segments on porno, but that's, that's just good. me. Yeah. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer airs Tuesday nights at eight on UPN. Yes. I'm glad you guys worked out your little riff. Yes. It's all been cured now. See, I'm like Chuck Woolery, and this is my love connection. Allison Hannigan, thank you very much for being here. When we come back. Bonnie Wright is here. Stick around.